Actually, the benefits of a knee brace when running is to provide support by stabilizing the knee joint and to reduce impact on the knee. However, there appears to be very little convincing evidence for this. In fact, there seems to be more of a strong correlation between knee braces and increased injury when running. For example, research in the official journal of the Belgian Society of Orthopedics and Traumatology, which is linked down below this video in the description box, found that runners running at a speed of eight kilometers an hour while wearing a knee brace had a significant increase in lower leg compartment pressure from 50 millimeters mercury to 96 millimeter mercury, whereby increases in lower leg compartment pressure is a well-known risk factor for painful lower leg cramps when running. And actually too much high levels of lower leg compartment pressure is the main risk factor for a running related injury common to heel strike runners known as chronic exertional compartment syndrome. My video on that link is down below the video in the description box as well. Another example of how knee braces may do more harm than good for runners is that a report in the American Journal of Sports Medicine, which is also linked down below in the description box, discovered that running with a knee brace may alter ankle joint and knee joint mechanics from their ideal neutral position. Meanwhile, immobilizing the knee joint with the knee brace may be, of course, very restrictive on the knee's range of motion, but restricts it in a way that was found to cause high impact foot strike mechanics. This suggests that a knee brace may have a profound ripple effect when running and may result in functional deficiencies and mechanical risk factors elsewhere on the leg that may be very unhelpful for injury prevention. From a performance perspective, knee braces may do little to bolster performance in that another report in the American Journal of Sports Medicine found that runners running with a knee brace had 5% increased oxygen consumption and the knee brace was overall found to be a consistent metabolic cost due to the weight of the brace, but also possibly due to the extra muscle energy that may be needed to counteract any irregular movements of the knee and the ankle, as well as altered foot strike mechanics that may be induced by the knee brace when running. So this is how a knee brace may result in diminishing returns in running but if you're worried about your knees when you run, how can they be protected in a way that sustains well long-term? In large measure, stress on the knees during running really depends on your collective biomechanics and that forfeit strike running coupled with slightly leaning forward from the ankles seems to correlate better with reducing impact stress and biomechanical forces on the knee joint as compared with heel strike running and wearing a knee brace. This is because the mechanical properties of forfeit strike running include increases in plantar flexion upon an at-touchdown, which means the front of the foot points more down towards the ground prior to an at-touchdown. This allows for a much flatter foot placement, which may allow the foot to hold more firm at landing simply because the landing area is expanded. Whereas in a heel strike landing when running, and the reason why I mentioned heel strike running is because there's countless links between heel strike running and severely stressing the knees, of which the videos I've done on that are also linked in the description box as well. But how heel strike running may be more physically taxing on the knees is that when you land really far back on the heel, the contact area of the foot is very small and the leg, including the knee, may need to work harder to try and stabilize the foot than if there were a larger surface area of contact, like in forfeit strike running, which strikes the ground on the widest portion of the foot. Not to mention, there may be unnecessary use of the knee joint at heel strike in heel strike running, because most often at heel strike, the knee joint is fully unbent and locked out, causing it to lack the joint flexion that helps soften landing, whereas the farther away that you land from your heel, like in a forfeit strike landing, naturally engages more knee flexion at touchdown, which may help the foot be more effective at reducing jarring force and collisional impact from making its way up to the knee and helps produce greater smoothness in foot placement with the ground, which can too be less distressing on the knees. Also, when you land high up on the heel with full knee extension during running, this forces the knee to decelerate the mass of the body for a prolonged period of time because there's a longer break period at touchdown because the distance between initial foot strike position and the mass of the body is longer than in forfeit strike running. The problem with this prolonged breaking phase in heel strike running is that it also produces high compressive loads of which the knee bears the brunt of this force and is why heel strike runners tend to suffer more knee injury than forfeit strike runners because in forfeit running, the ankle, not the knee, decelerates the mass of the body. 
Even better, the deceleration or the braking phase is much shorter in duration and is also very less intensive if you land forefoot first during running. On account of, it also helps engage greater knee flexion at touchdown, which in turn helps close the distance between initial foot strike position and the massive body. Out of this, the brake force is actually small enough to avoid damaging compressive loads on the knee joint. All in all, the take home message is that instead of relying on external knee support, like wearing a knee brace, of which there's just not enough evidence to support that knee braces give you reliable knee protection. Rather, the primary focus should be on organizing your mechanics in a way that keeps the knee sustainably unburdened, whereby forfeit strike running seems to be gaining almost universal acclaim for reducing negative interactions on the knee joint and provides a good basis for low impact long-term on the knees. On that note, I posted links below to videos I did on a number of research that have found the same basic conclusion regarding forfeit strike running being successfully used to improve knee injury prevention in heel strike runners who suffered from runner's knee. Rarely do we see results going in the opposite direction in that there's practically no research showing Forefoot runners chronically suffering knee pain have full resolve of their knee pain when they switch to heel strike running. In the research, it's always heel strike runners suffering knee pain experience immediate improvements in knee pain as soon as they switch to forefoot strike running and not the other way around. So that's another big takeaway to really consider. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to hit the thumbs up button as well as the subscribe button if you haven't already, where you will stay more informed on heel strike running versus forefoot strike running, as well as more informed on the benefits of barefoot running. Thank you so much for listening and watching. Have fun up there on the roads and trails. Bye for now.